Well, hi, hello, and welcome. And it is a busy day. I still have my hair in a towel, but we're doing it. Um, I just dropped the kids off to school, and now I'm going to take you along for what happens on the rest of this day. All right, so I'm in the car. I just got home. I am in park, don't worry. Um, but I just got home and it is time to hurry, hurry, hurry and get ready because I got my shower this morning, but obviously I did not have time to get ready. So I need to do that. And I've actually got to go back to the kids' school. Uh, the day that you're seeing this, I believe it is Read Across America Day. And um, so they have asked for parent volunteers to come in and read for the kindergarten classes. So that's what I'm doing this morning. And I think I have about an hour before I have to be there. Um, we live pretty close to school, so it doesn't take me long to travel there, but I've got to get ready. So thankfully I've already done my shower though. Um, so I'm gonna run inside and get ready. I also, my new fragrances came in from Dossier and um, I wanted to share those with you too. And, uh, share with you which one I'm going to try today because I'm I'm always excited about my dossier fragrances but y'all y'all when I tell you I'm so excited for what came today uh well it came a couple of days ago but I'm finally breaking them out and using them and uh today and I'm so excited because just so excited and dossier is actually sponsoring today's video so thank you dossier for that they make iconic scents at an affordable price it's designer quality but it is much more budget friendly. I am always shocked when I see the prices of how much these <laughs> high-end fragrances cost. And then when I see the difference with Dossier's prices, I'm like, y'all, it's night and day. So most of Dossier's fragrances range from $29 to $49. They're always running coupons and sales. Um, and I've got a coupon code down below for you. You can use as, as well. And, um, I mean, you're, you're already at a fantastic price at most of them being $29, $39 or $49. And I honestly, I don't see very many that are 49. Most of them are in the lower price range, but anyways, you're already at a fantastic price point there. And then you add in, um, that discount code and the sales that they often run. And you are just looking at a great, great deal. It's a great holiday gift as well. So that will definitely be something that I will be keeping in mind as I am doing my Christmas shopping this year. And I know that it is early for some people to be talking about Christmas, but it is not early for me. Um, it is time for me to start preparing. So yeah, I am so thankful that Dossier has partnered with me again in this video. So thank you again to them. When I get in the house here in a moment, I will share with you the three fragrances that I got this month and share with you which one I'm going to be trying out today and I cannot wait. Okay, so trying a new setup here so hopefully this works out. Um, but I wanted to share with you the three scents that I got this month and then I need to start getting ready. So I'm in my bathroom. The lighting's probably all over the place. I don't have the, no, I don't have any lighting set up. It's just my bathroom. So the first one that they sent me is the Fruity Almond. This one is top notes of almond peach almond and peach, middle notes, orris, orange blossom, tuberose, and the base notes are tonka bean, vanilla, and cocoa, and uh, yeah, I am super duper excited to try this one out. I'm actually super excited for all of these. I've already smelt them, and they smell absolutely divine. This one is the Fruity Jasmine. This one is top notes of mandarin, green leaves, and sweet pea, and the base notes of sandalwood, plum, and musk. Middle notes, jasmine, ylang ylang, can't pronounce that word, and peach. <laughs> and what's the other one? Fruity brown sugar. And um, I can leave a link to these as well. So if you want to know what they are um, inspired by, then I can leave that for you. But uh, the top notes in the fruity brown sugar are bergamot, raspberry, and pear. Middle notes, jasmine, orange blossom, brown sugar. Base notes, patchouli amber and vanilla. These are delightful. So I think that I'm going to end up going this morning with the fruity almond and you can see these are, these are large bottles. Um, and the, the lids are magnetic there. 
So, I need to get my makeup on, and I've never done this where I put my makeup on while I'm talking to y'all, but I think we're going to try it and see how it goes. But, um, I already have my contacts in. Like I said, I need to get ready to go. So, I thought, well, I needed, I wanted to chit chat with y'all, but I also need to get ready. So, we're going to try this out today and, and see how it goes. Trying to get better about in my day in the life, actually giving you real footage instead of just me talking to you. So hopefully you like this style video. Let me know down below, of course. And um, yeah, so I have a lot that I need to get done today. Oh, and if you're curious, this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I already washed my face in the shower and I was out. Well, I'm not out. I bought some. I just didn't put it in the shower of my, um, I used the Neutrogena Hydro Boost, uh, what's it called? Like cleansing gel stuff in the shower and, and when I get out of it, uh, right before I get out. So yeah, that's what I do there. That was, I used that. This is the Hydro Boost Water Gel with Hyaluronic Acid. And then I use the e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Face Primer. And I've used about that much. And uh, definitely not a beauty guru around here. No one would be confused by that. <laughs> but um, and my hands are clean. I don't use a beauty blender. You'll see that in a minute. If you do, and you have figured out how to make that work best for you, I would love to know. But it just doesn't, it doesn't work well for me. I've yet to figure out a good way to do that. Okay, now, let's see if we can do this. I wanted to try something a little different today getting ready, but we don't have time for that. We're just going to have to go with the old faithful. Okay, this is the foundation that I use. This is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. And for reference, this one is WN01 Flax. Yep. I know that you're really not going to be able to see that, but there it is. So it comes with like this kind of applicator. I just put some dots on my face, like so, and then I kind of smear them, and I'll just kind of do the same thing throughout my face, and then we'll go and uh, work the product in with clean fingers, because, like I said, I can't get it to work. So, hopefully, this works out, and, yeah, hopefully, so. Anyways, so uh, today I need to, um, not need to, I'm going over to the kids' school and I'm going to be reading to the kindergarten class, unfortunately the third grade class um, was not asking for reading volunteers, I guess they are getting too old for that now, um, but the kindergartners are always, always a joy. Um, I genuinely love getting to go and interact at my kids' school and be a part of the school community. That's something that's really important to me. Um, obviously, without infringing on their personal lives, we try to really connect with the kids' teachers and just be as involved as we possibly can. And I don't mean involved like hovering. I'm definitely a more hands-off parent and I let the teachers be their teachers sort of thing. Obviously we do the homework and we do the things at home that we need to do, but we, we just respect that boundary that the teachers are there to teach. But we are kids advocates and we also just want to be involved in any opportunity that there is. So if they're like, hey, can you send this in? If they're like, hey, can you come read to the classes today? Can you, you know, anything that we can, 
we try to show up for. Um, it's just important to us. Okay, so I've got my foundation on and I wanted to do the thing where, you know, you layer it in different places and do different things, but listen, Mama ain't got time for that today. We don't have time to be trying new things is what I'm saying. So I'm gonna let that sit for a moment. And then I read somewhere, oh, and this is the e.l.f. Con uh, concealer that I got there. Hydrating Camo Concealer, and I got Fair Rose, but, um, what was I saying? I don't know. I don't really even know anymore. Oh, I heard that, I've read a lot that, like, you should do the makeup setting spray in between each layer of makeup there, um, each step so that you get good, I don't know, that it just works the best to help set things. Um, so we may try that, I don't know. I'm not really seeing much of a difference with this uh, concealer, but we'll see, hold on. Okay. <laughs> Now, uh, what I need to get a lot done today, I think I've said that a couple of times here, but I need to get my, uh, after I go to the kids' school, I need to come home and do a little bit of work. Um, not necessarily for my job job, but I need to get some YouTube work done. And... It wasn't quite dry yet, so this isn't going well. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so I need to get some work done today, but it's Friday. I don't know if I've said that yet. It's Friday, and it, that means it is my grocery shopping day, and I don't know when that I will even have time to go grocery shopping today. So I need to figure out though, if I'm gonna place a pickup order or try to have it delivered. Kroger does have a few weekly digital deals that I wanna take advantage of. And they also have a deal running, a digital coupon deal right now, where today only you get five times the fuel points um, so every dollar you spend in store is a, a, is one fuel, like it counts towards your fuel points dollar for dollar. Um, and when you have a hundred points, you get 10 cents off a gallon, yada, yada. And, um, so five times that, you know, that's a good deal, but I don't know if I'm honestly going to have time for that. Oh, and I am so terrible at this. This is the finishing powder that I'm using. This one is the Almost Powder Makeup by Clinique 01 Fair. Um, so that's what I just used with a brush there. I don't use the little thing that comes with it. And then um, this is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, I believe. I believe. So, Anyways, so all my agenda to do today is figure out the grocery situation, get a little bit of YouTube work done. I still have not made my bed or anything because we were, you know, in a hurry this morning. I normally take my showers at night, but I did not do that last night, so then I had to take my shower this morning. Um, so I got my shower, but obviously I'm getting ready now after I took the kids to school. But I got to be back at the school, like I said. Goodness, Brady, get your thoughts together. This is my brain in the morning on no caffeine. I haven't even had a sip of water yet. So I probably should do that. But um, what was I saying? Maybe I'll get it together one of these days. Maybe. Anyway, so... I need to, I'm going over to the kids' school to read, 
And then I need to figure out the grocery situation. I also need to, this is clumping all over the place. This is a disaster this morning. Anyways, so I need to go to the kids' school. Then I'm going to go home, back home, figure out what I'm doing grocery-wise. and Try to get some YouTube work done. And then I'm actually meeting a friend of mine, uh, Brittany. She and I are going to eat lunch at one of the Mexican restaurants here in town. And um, I'm really excited because it has been several weeks since I have seen her. And... I am excited to hang out and get stuff done. Uh, so it's been a few weeks since I've seen her. So I'm really excited though. Um, no, this is not working for my eyebrows at all, y'all. Um, anyways, I'm really excited to go see her and catch up. And she is actually in the nursing program that I was supposed to start, but we all know that that went not according to plan. Oh, I'm not good at this eyebrow thing, y'all. And I said I wasn't gonna try anything different. Normally I just kinda fill them in with powder, but I decided, no, I'll use this pencil. And I'm thinking that was a bad idea to try that today. Because if it doesn't go well, I'm kind of stuck with it. Yeah, this is not looking. This is not looking great. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, we're going to try to blend and salvage it here. Okay. Anyways, after I read to the kids' school, I got to get my grocery stuff. Then I need to do a little bit of work done. Then I'm meeting Brittany for lunch. So it'll be really good to catch up with her. Find out how the nursing program is going. I know she said she's already had some stories to tell. So we're going to get into that today. And what else am I going to do today? Then it will, not long after that, honestly, I'll have to pick up the kids though. So I don't have a ton of time to be, to do much of else. Um, so I'm kind of prioritizing her lunch with her today over getting the groceries but that's fine it's really fine I could go tomorrow and get groceries if I need to I just prefer that that gets done on Fridays it's just a lot a lot better for my schedule so I'll have to figure out if I'm going to do a pickup order or a delivery I'll keep y'all posted as I figure that out um, which you probably already know by the time you're seeing this video and you're like, Brady, shut up about it. But, um, because the grocery haul will probably go up before this video. But anyways, um, so I've got a whole to-do list of things is what I'm getting at here in a roundabout way. And, um... I just need to figure out how all that's going to work. But unfortunately, I chose a morning slot to come read to the kids. And I just say unfortunately for uh, planning purposes. Because I should have thought this out last night. And I did not. I tried and then I got like brain overwhelm and I was like, you know what? I'll figure it out tomorrow. So now tomorrow is here and it is time for today Brady to figure it out. Um, so now that I got to figure that out, I don't know what we're going to do, but it will all get worked out one way or another. Okay, and that was one of those NYX lip liner pencils. This one is, don't know what color. Nude pink. And then, I'm not great at that, and I, like I said, I'm rushing. We're going to see here. I don't know how I feel about this color. Eh, it's not terrible. It's really bright, though. 
I almost feel like I have a mask on. Uh, I don't know. It's not terrible. This one is the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink in Koi. But it is very noticeable. Normally my uh, lip color is much more muted than this. So I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not loving the lip liner right now. I don't know. I don't know y'all. This is why I said I wasn't going to do anything different and then I did. Imagine that. So anyways, I'm going to finish up my makeup. I'm going to finish getting ready and then I will take y'all along and check in probably after I skedaddle over to the school and figure out what I'm doing the rest of the day. Okay. All right. All right. So in typical Brady fashion, I was wrong and it's not 815 that I have to be there. It's eight to 815. Uh, so I have to be there at eight. And so my hair's not dry. My makeup's really not done, but this is what we get today. And I look much more pale and washed out with this lighting than I actually do. Um, but it's time to go. <laughs> so I did not have time to dry my hair. I just put a little mousse in it and pulled it back. And that's just going to have to be good enough. Let's go. All right. I am home, y'all. And I thought I would just show you what book I read um, <laughs> to her class. But I read, let me get it. Uh, like, okay. So I read Llama Llama and the Bully Goat. And we love the Llama Llama books around here. So that was exciting to read that one to her class as well. That went really, really well. Um, I was like three minutes late because traffic jam, but it's fine. It all went fine and she was excited to see me, which is always fun. And I didn't get to go to my third graders classroom and say hello. I had to head on out, um, which is fine. I'm good with them keeping the safety <laughs> regulated in the school these days, especially. Um, so my house is a bit of a mess. But it's now like 8.30 and I need to figure out what the grocery plan is going to look like and do some work at the computer. So that's what I'm going to do now. The dog needs to go pee so I'm going to her out. And um, yeah, I think we're doing lunch at 11. I need to text Brittany and make sure. But I think it's at 11. And um, so I don't know. I'll check in with you as I get stuff done today and we'll, we'll see what we get into. All right, I am in the parking lot. I am at the Mexican restaurant here in town. And uh, I think Brittany is here, maybe. Gonna go and see if she's here. I'm really looking forward to having some lunch with her and catching up. So I will check in with y'all in a little bit and let you know how lunch went and what the plan is for the rest of the day. All right, y'all, so I am in the car rider pickup line. The car is parked, don't worry. Um, I had lunch with my friend and, um, I got a chimichanga. It was delicious. Um, but anyways, we had a wonderful time. We kind of rescheduled. I think we were going to meet at 11, but we did 1130 instead, which was really good. Um, they weren't busy at all, which was nice. I mean, they were, you know, there was lunch people there, but it was not crazy. So anyway, so I stayed there, hung out and chit chatted with her outside by the car for quite a while. Um, and I went home and um, I had to finish up a couple of things. And then now I'm sitting in the car pickup line and uh, just had a time to catch up and chit chat with my dad for a little bit on the phone, um, which was nice. And now I'm just sitting here hanging out. Um, I still have not actually placed the grocery order for today. I was gonna do grocery pickup, but I've gotta go home. I've got a couple of phone calls to make for my job um, and some stuff to do there on the computer when I get home. So now, I don't know. So I didn't do the pickup because the pickup was gonna be 2.30 to three. And I was like, no, I have a, you know, I have a time. That I have to call during that and then I was like no it's gonna not gonna work so I was like I'll just order it for delivery and then I forgot to place the delivery order because I wasn't sure what time would be best so story of my life so I need to go home 
we're gonna have I think chicken stir fry for dinner tonight I think um we might do an eat out night but most likely not I think I'm gonna do chicken stir fry um or we may do like chicken lettuce wraps and then some stir fry noodles with it I'm not sure a hundred percent yet but I need to just bite the bullet and finish um the grocery order and just get that delivered uh, so that I can get that taken care of, which is a huge luxury, and I'm so thankful. Um, we've got a lot to try to do this weekend, but if you don't know already, we also, uh, my husband and I celebrated our ninth wedding anniversary this week, and so we may try to celebrate this weekend. Plus, um, we delayed celebrating because everyone was sick. Um, my mom, you know, was in the hospital, so when it was actually my birthday weekend, we were supposed to have dinner with my mom and my stepdad, we had to push that out, and then last weekend, the kids still were kind of, you know, with the ear infection and all the things going on, so we didn't do it last weekend, so I think this weekend we're going to try to get together with them and go out to eat. I am really wanting a steak from, um, Texas Roadhouse. And so I think we're going to go try to do that. But I don't know. Um, I'll show you what we have for dinner. And um, I'll do my best to continue to bring you along today. It's just been kind of a crazy day. Like, I don't know. Just lots of things going on. And, um, and you know, things to do. I just feel like it's been kind of back to back to back. And then a lot of like... Do y'all ever get, like, decision fatigue? Like, you're just like, I don't even know. I, I just don't even know. Like, with the prices of everything, I'm over here, and y'all have heard me rant about this before if you've been here, but I'm over here just, you know, trying to figure out, like, where's the best place pricing was and what deals to take advantage of and whatnot, and, well, is it worth it to pay the delivery fee if I'm going to get the fuel points, like, this week at Kroger and this whole thing, and I'm just like, I think I'm just going to place a shipped order. I don't know. Um... I don't know. There's just so many choices. I don't know. So, let me get off here while I'm continuing to wait here in the parked car, car rider line. I'm going to look at my phone, try to figure out the grocery order, and go from there. <laughs> 